Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video will be covering Lens Island, an up and coming indie game for under $30. While this game is still in early access and there's only currently one boss in the game, I've still gotten a few days of gaming out of it and I've really enjoyed myself. Minus the funkiest way I've ever seen a game mechanic for a ladder. What? I'm pleased with the overall aesthetic of the visuals and the general gameplay itself, although it is a bit of a grind in the beginning. So whether you're here to watch some tips and tricks about this video while your game downloads, or you're just generally curious about the game itself, I hope this helps to paint a better picture of what you can expect from this game. For my first tip, we're gonna talk about the F key. Typically used to build, you can use it to look around while you're out and about, and you can find little secrets that you would have normally not been able to see because of the game's fixed camera. Secondly, farm everything that you can. Almost everything that you can collect and everything that you can grow, you can sell to a vendor in town. This of course includes sapphires, which are some of the most valuable resources in the game. Which brings me to my next point. As tempting as it may seem, don't sell rocks, clay, wood, or limestone to the vendors in town. Instead, build a refinery and put them all in there. Clay is especially useful as it converts down to sapphire, which we previously established to be worth a bit of money in the game. This is a good method to stack your coins and buy that bigger backpack that you can find in town, so you can have more toolbar slots and the ability to carry a higher number of each resource. Once you make it to the caves, you'll see coal nodes that you can gather and you can use that coal to light lamp posts that you'll come across as you venture further into the caves. And you can light these to help keep track of which direction you came from. It does get really dark down here and it's easy to get lost. So if you light your way as you go, it makes it easier to make it back. Also, you'll find braziers that you can light if you light these, they will heal you when you stand close enough to them. And sometimes, deep down in these caves, that's the difference between living and dying. Speaking of dying, guys, let's get to the final tip. Let's talk about healing. You're going to have to grow some crops to help heal yourself. There's a lot to choose from, but I suggest wheat. Now, you're not going to find wheat naturally growing, or at least I haven't, but you can find it at the vendor in town, and it's worth trying to invest in that early on so you can get some of that wheat growing. It does take a little bit longer to grow than the other crops I did notice. But once you can save up or grind out the materials needed to make a windmill, which will make farming much easier as it not only acts to pump your well water to your water tower, ensuring that all your crops stay hydrated, it also grinds wheat into flour. With the flour in hand, smack it into a fireplace, and now you have bread that heals for 25, versus what you'd get from something like a watermelon or a pumpkin, which heal only for about eight. And that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you decided to buy this game, I hope you found some of these tips useful, or if you're on the fence about it, I hope maybe this paints a better picture for you of what to expect in this game. And you know, maybe that's the difference between buying it and not buying it. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.